Hi and welcome to this second getting started tutorial on BitShop and in this video we will check another simple task of uh, creating a tape stop. So assume that you already have uh, laid down your track. I've got mine here, let's hear it. And it's time to create a tape stop at some point. And of course, let's start by creating a beat shop. And this time we will add it as an insert effect to the entire mix. Remember that under some circumstances, you need to create a track for beat shop yourself, since Reason identifies it as, a, as an effect rather than an instrument. You do this by right clicking or command click on Mac and selecting create new track for beat shop from the context menu. Now, the first thing you have to do here is to alter the buffer settings. You would most probably use this effect on your last bit of a bar to create a short break, a fill-in as it is called, or in an entire bar. So instead of splitting a bar into 16 steps of 16ths, we will split it into 4 bits, that is, 4 steps of 1 quarter each, like that. Alternatively, if you wanted your tape stop to be 1 bar long, you should set both steps and resolution to 1. Okay, so now the next thing we gotta do is to draw a part at the bar where we wish to make the tape stop. I have decided to create the effect here, so here I go. Inside the part, I'll draw a note at D sharp 2, which is the fourth and last beat that BeatShop records per cycle. In other words, I'll play back the buffer as it is recorded at that point. Next thing is to automate the speed knob. So hold down the Alt key and click on it like this. Zoom in a bit if you have to, to view the lane properly and draw one point from the middle at the start of the note and another one at the end of the note all the way down. That's it. Now let's play that back. Here's another tape stop where I've set the buffer to one slice, one bar long. Back to our short version, if you want to make this effect a bit more realistic, you can add another point between the two, like this, to create a sort of ease out on the pitch. You can also start pitching down from a higher value than the middle, but in this case, automate the buffer roll for as long as the slice plays in order to disable Beats Chop's safe mode, which is used to prevent overlapping between recording and playback. That's all from me for today. Happy beat chopping. Bye. <laughs>